After starting this module, you shall be able to know the meaning of oligopoly, learn the conditions of oligopoly, identify the basis of classification of oligopoly, understand coordinates model of oligopoly, comprehend kinged demand model of oligopoly. Let us firstly understand the meaning of oligopoly. Oligopoly is an imperfect market where there are few sellers producing homogeneous or differentiate product, but the products are not perfect substitutes. Oligopoly has some of the elements of both monopoly and monopolistic market. Definition According to McConnell, oligopoly is a market situation in which number of firms in an industry is so small that each must consider the reactions of rivals in formulating its price policy. Let us now commence this module by studying about oligopoly. Meaning, oligopoly is an imperfect market where there are few sellers producing homogeneous or differentiated product, but the products are not perfect substitutes. Oligopoly has some of the elements of both monopoly and monopolistic market. Definition According to McConnell, oligopoly is a market situation in which number of firms in an industry is so small that each must consider the reaction of rivals in formulating its price policy. Let's have the glance over the conditions of oligopoly. First, few sellers and large number of buyers. Oligopoly is a market structure where there are few sellers which have direct competition. The product in oligopoly can be either differentiated or homogeneous which are sold to large number of buyers. Second, characteristics of monopoly. Under oligopoly, as there are only few firms, so these firms create brand loyalty among the large number of buyers. Thus, because of brand loyalty among consumers, firms enjoy monopoly and earn more profits. Third, homogeneous or differentiated products. Types of oligopoly depends upon what type of the product the oligopolistic firms are selling. If the firms are selling homogeneous product, then it is known as pure oligopoly, whereas if the firms are selling differentiated products, it is known as differentiated oligopoly or imperfect oligopoly. Fourth, advertisements. Advertisement or selling cost play an important role in oligopoly. Advertisement constitutes the major chunk of the total cost of the product. It can make or mar a firm. So, for a handling cut throat competition or for attracting consumers, advertising is necessary in oligopoly. Fifth, lack of uniformity. There can be lack of uniformity in size of the firm. One firm could be large and others can be small and similarly can hold more or less of the market share. Sixth, price rigidity. In an oligopoly, if firm tries to reduce the price, its competitors also reduces its price. This will create no advantage to the firm. In other situation, if the firm increases the price, its competitors do not do so. As a result, the firm loses its consumers. As a result, in both the situations, the firm is likely to lose. Thus, there remains price rigidity. Let us understand the classification of oligopoly. First, on the basis of product differentiation. If all the firms of a market produces homogeneous products, then that is known as pure or perfect oligopoly. On the other hand, if firms are having differentiated products, then it is known as differentiated or imperfect oligopoly. Second, on the basis of agreement, in oligopoly, 
where firms follow a common price policy through an agreement or mutual understanding is known as collusive oligopoly and an oligopoly where firms act independently is known as non collusive oligopoly third on the basis of entry of the firms if there is an open entry of the firms in market it is known as open oligopoly and the market where free entry is not allowed is known as closed oligopoly fourth on the basis of price leadership in oligopoly where dominant firm or a price leader fixes the price and the other firms follow the price this kind of oligopoly is known as partial oligopoly and the oligopoly where no firm is dominant and price is fixed by each firm for itself is known as full oligopoly now let us understand the cornet's model of oligopoly augustin cornet was a french economist who developed the model of oligopoly which is based on following assumptions there are two firms in a market both of them owns a mineral water well both operate their wells at zero marginal cost both firms had constant negative slope demand curve each seller takes a decision keeping in mind that the other firm will not react to his decision to change his output and price cornot on the basis of this model concluded that each seller supplies one third of the market demand and charges the same price and one third of the market remains unsupplied both firms had constant negative slope demand curve each seller takes a decision keeping in mind that the other firm will not react to his decision to change his output and price cornot on the basis of this model concluded that each seller supplies one third of the market demand and charges the same price and one third of the market remains unsupplied now b has qm quantity to sell half of the total market b assumes that a will continue selling at the same price the same output thus the market available to b is qm where kn where it intersects at n so the quantity sold by firm b is on at price op2 the total revenue is qrln due to the entry of b price is reduced to op2 thus reducing the profit of a to op2 r q let us now have a look on the kinged demand model of oligopoly this model is also known as sweezy's kinky demand curve model this model is regarded as the most important model of non collusive models of oligopoly this model does not explain the price determination but it explains why the price rigidity prevails in the oligopoly this model is based on the following assumptions if one firm decreases its price the other firms will also decrease their prices if one firm increases its price the other firms will also increase their prices there is an established existing price the marginal cost curve will pass through the dotted portion of marginal revenue curve according to paul sweezy the demand curve in oligopoly is not continuous but it is kinked similarly marginal revenue curve is also in discontinuity shown by the dotted line in the figure at point e mc is equal to mr and mc is cutting mr in the discontinued portion thereby fixing an output at oq and price at op 
and reason for price rigidity is that so long as mc will continue to cut mr at its discontinued portion price will remain unchanged and thus there comes price rigidity in oligopoly this scenario happens even if cost of production increases or cost of production decreases price rigidity also prevails in case of change in demand too this could be explained with the help of figure in the figure when dd was the demand curve the equilibrium price was e and demand was oq whereas price was op when the demand increased the demand curve shifted to new demand curve t1 d1 where same cost curve mc cuts at the discontinued portion making a new equilibrium at point e1 where the new quantity is oq1 but the price remains at op thus it is clear from above figure that even if the demand changes the price remains the same hence the price rigidity prevails now let us discuss the criticisms of kinky demand curve analysis this model is unable to explain the price and output determination this model is not applicable where products are not homogeneous this model is not applicable in case of collusive oligopoly this model ignores the non price competition let us now recapitulate what we have learned in this module oligopoly is an imperfect market where there are few sellers producing homogeneous or differentiated product but the products are not perfect substitutes oligopoly has some of the elements of both monopoly and monopolistic market the conditions of oligopoly are few sellers and large number of buyers homogeneous or differentiated products advertisements lack of uniformity price rigidity oligopoly can be classified on the basis of on the agreement on the basis of entry of the firms and on the basis of price leadership augustin cornot developed the model of oligopoly in which there are two firms in a market both operate their wells at zero marginal cost both firms had constant negative slope demand curve each seller takes a decision keeping in mind that the other firm will not react to his decision to change its output and price sweezy's kinky demand curve model is regarded non collusive model of oligopoly does not explain the price determination but it explains why the price rigidity prevails in the oligopoly based on the assumptions that if one firm decreases its price the other firms will also decrease their prices if one firm increases its price the other firms will also increase their prices there is an established existing price and the marginal cost curve will pass through the dotted portion of marginal revenue curve kinky demand curve is unable to explain the price and output determination is not applicable where products are not homogeneous is not applicable in case of collusive oligopoly and ignores the non price competition